holy cow, this life that I'm living now with my faith and trying to live out my faith and having these people in my life, this is so much more fun and fulfilling than what I was doing uh, first semester freshman year just with going into the hard party culture. <laughs> well, hi, my name is Jack Obeck and I've been a parishioner at St. Gabe's for uh, basically my whole life. And, uh, you know, I received faith formation here. I received my first sacraments here. I think I really encountered this relationship with Jesus um, when I had confirmation. And confirmation was amazing for me. And at the same time of confirmation, unfortunately, uh, me and my family were dealing with this really hard family issue. And um, we, I, I was struggling with my relationship with the Lord. My family was too. And I wasn't angry at God, but I was just confused. That confusion kind of lasted up all the way through high school and actually into my freshman year of college. And going into college, I went to South Carolina, go Gamecocks. And I wanted to, I wanted to pursue my faith, but again, I was confused how to. And um, I, I went into freshman year and it, it was such a crossroads where you could go one way or the other way. And sometimes when you go the other way, it's hard to come back. And it's really like some people never really come back with their faith. And so I knew I wanted to pursue my faith, but at the same time, I got, <laughs> I got steamrolled into this hard party culture where I was studying all day and partying all night. And there was this guy, this focused missionary in South Carolina that would lead me in a Bible study. And that would lead me through this, the, the Bible and how to live out my faith. He was more than just a Bible study leader. He was my role model. And he would lead me through this. He would play golf with me too. And it was just, I was like, oh my gosh, this guy gets it. He's living out his faith. And I love that. I was like, I want to be this guy right here. And so I, I was doing this during the day. I was going to this Bible study. But after that, right after the Bible study, I would literally go downtown and just go crazy. And I was living two lives and it left me I went into winter break freshman year just feeling unfulfilled, empty, kind of alone of like, what do I do? Like, do I go into this life? Do I go into this like hard party culture life? Which was fun at first, but it, again, it left me empty. Or do I choose the good? And I prayed about it a lot, prayed about it a lot, leaned on my parents too. And I ultimately came to the conclusion of choosing the good choosing the good that kept coming up in prayer. And I chose the good and I, I came into that second semester freshman year wanting to choose the good. And although it wasn't an instant snap of like, Jack, you got your relationship back with the Lord and you're not confused anymore, it began a slow process of healing. I kept going to my focused Bible study and it was a slow transition into forming just a great relationship with Jesus. And I kept, I kept doing this sophomore and junior year, and I began to realize, holy cow, this life that I'm living now with my faith and trying to live out my faith and having these people in my life, this is so much more fun and fulfilling than what I was doing uh, first semester freshman year, just with going into the hard party culture. You know, it, it was, it was so much better and it was, uh, these people actually lifted me up and I loved it. And then senior year, senior year, I actually had an opportunity to start leading my own focused Bible study uh, with, with my church there at St. Thomas More in South Carolina. And it was amazing because I had guys just like me, freshman and sophomore year of like, they needed some help, they needed that guidance because they were teetering on that path just like I was, and it was it was amazing. And having a leading that Bible study, and then being filled with my Bible study that I was still in with my focus leaders, that really filled my bucket up to where I began to realize, hey, maybe I should be a focus missionary too. And God knows, I I, I went into uh, focus training in Nebraska this summer, and I could have gotten placed at any school in the United States. 
and guess where I got placed? At Clemson University, the rival of South Carolina, just two hours away and golly, they, they, need, they need some Jesus there. But I, I really am excited to, to go to Clemson University and just to show those guys just like me, like the Lord and how awesome it is to live a life with Jesus. So part of being a focused missionary is fundraising my salary. And so I would love to invite the St. Gabriel's family to be on my team. I would love to have y'all be on my team with monthly gifts of however much you can provide for me. Because at the end of the day, we need y'all support to serve these Clemson students. This is an incredible opportunity and I can't wait. Thank y'all so much and God bless.